All right, so I want more room in the fuselage in this area for components in the future. And so I want to get rid of these guys that are designed to hold the wing in place with these screws. These screws go up through the tubes and into the wings. And the screws actually go through one side of these plastic stays and then attach in the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill these holes out. I've done one so far. This one isn't done. Normally these screw into the plastic end on the bottom wing half. So I'm going to drill these holes out eighth inch and then I've got a piece of eighth, eighth inch carbon fiber that has a nice tight fit in these holes that I drilled. So rather than mounting the screw up through the bottom, I'm going to put the carbon fiber tube down in from the top and run it through these drilled out holes here. Okay, I've temporarily put the fuselage shafts together by taping them together and inserting the wings and I left the uh, the little black discs inside the fuselage so that I could guide these carbon fibers through the fuselage and so now that I've got the tabs drilled out on the wings, the little black metal tabs that are glued onto the wings, drilled out eighth inch, and I got these eighth inch carbon fiber rods fed through into the fuselage. I kind of sharpened the tips of these carbon fiber rods, and now I'm going to go ahead and force them through so I can find exactly where the uh, lines to guide the tubes in from the top would be. So I'm just going to run these guys through and see where they come out the top. Okay, well, I found the easiest way to do this is I just put a drill motor on the top, or I'm sorry, on the end of the rod and then just drilled it right through and you can see they came out perfectly where I expected them in the top of the fuselage. So untape the fuselage Love that blue tape. And there's my discs I used to uh, guide and see how we did. So, yeah, you see, we have the holes all the way through to the top, so I know exactly where. Uh, we're to run them in down from the bottom. Perfect. One thing I like to do with all my models is before I actually assemble anything, right now the fuselage and wings are just temporarily attached and all of the components that matter for this step are taped in place. As you can see, I'm going to try and put the servos on the tail and eliminate the control arms that run all the way forward because I want to keep the fuselage area up here clear for components, um, additional components, and not have servos in the way. So I've got the motor kind of stuffed in here temporarily. The speed controller just laying on top, everything all taped together. I've got a battery down inside the nose of the fuselage. And I actually have it on scale and got a total weight here. Uh, it's right around 675 grams uh, total weight without a few little minor things that still need to be added. 
but I do this and then do a center of gravity. That's the whole purpose of this is to rough out the CG with everything laid in place and see if I'm close. And if I'm way off, then I can make adjustments to the build before I get started and having, instead of having to redo a bunch of stuff because my CG just won't come out.